like that vertically. Okay, the vest is doing a purple panda box that I just got. Taped it up. Static coming in. Hey, welcome back to another video from uh, Holy Shift over here. I'm Sandy. Today I'm gonna be talking about my uh, microphone setup for my moto vlogging. You know, ever since I changed to a full face helmet, the Shoei 1200, I had to move my microphone. <laughs> I was using this whole time has been using a Sony Sony microphone uh, it's design and its shape it's a stereo it has pretty much two microphones uh, one to each side and the way I set up uh, in my helmet okay as you can see over here the way I was uh, setting up the uh, microphone is one tip is facing down it's vertical okay so one uh, side is facing down the other side is facing up and apparently because one side is facing down it picks up the wind buffets the noise from the wind the noise from pipes and it's giving me a lot of static noise at high speeds at highway speeds okay the vest is doing a great job I, I put on medium it's really nice and toasty Everybody uh, keeps talking about the, the Purple Panda. I just picked it up on Amazon. I got it within one day. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Purple Panda. I'm going to unbox it. I actually got it the other day. Never even opened it up. See what it includes. Set it up and take it for a ride and see if it's much better. Bye. See, this, this is the Sony. As you can see, a uh, microphone on this side, a microphone on that side. When it was in the helmet, it was uh, lo uh, situated like that vertically. This side picks up uh, me speaking, but the bottom was getting the pipes and the uh, noise of the highway, the, the wind. So Blue Panda is a different design. Let's check it out. So this is the Purple Panda box that I just got from uh, Amazon. A link for it down by the description, of course. Uh, simple. And it comes in a little, uh, like a jewelry uh, bag. A lot of different uh, items in it. One is the actual microphone itself and this is the microphone as a lavalier microphone or a lapel mic it's got a very long cable from what i've read and it's got this little clips uh, i'm not sure in my case that we'll be using it. i think we'll take it off uh, a lot of people get this wrong is how many uh you know black rings do you see over here the black rings it's very important because this is designed to go into a smartphone and it has one two three rings and if you put this in a camera or uh, in a, a, a like a recorder, a voice recorder, it won't work. Or actually even to the GoPro, you need two rings. And that way you know uh, whether this fits a camera, a GoPro, or a smartphone. So it's this uh, supposedly great microphone. Okay, it's an extension cord. That's if you really need to do uh, an interview, if your phone or your camera is far away from your subject. So it's a, an extension cord, I'll tell you. And you've got a converter. Okay, this is what I was talking about. This converts the current microphone uh, inlet and it converts it from a three ring option to a two ring option. That will work for uh, the GoPro. So that definitely I'll have to connect. And it clicks on and that's how you work with the GoPro. The next thing is an extra clip. There is another uh, adapter. Okay, this is for the old the old GoPros, the Hero 4s, I think 5s, where they had that funny little uh, connector. So there's an adapter for that. And they have a few uh, wind muffs, also known as a dead, a dead cat. That pretty much, you put that over the microphone itself and it muffs and it dampens all the wind noise. So I find it easier to use without uh, the visor so clicks out both sides click gonna do it on this side this cheek because the cable is gonna go out here i mean the plug is gonna go out here and meet the gopro right on this side i took already i took this part uh this cheek cushion out i'm gonna place the microphone over here so let's start by taking this 
plastic. There we go, just clips, clips right out. I don't need this. Let's cover this additional, we add to this uh, sponge, we'll add the dead cat, just force it on. Okay, just force it, force it on. That's, that's the dead cat, uh, the wind muff. Now I'll connect this to the bottom of the helmet. Right here, facing, facing up. It's gonna be in my teeth the whole time, but I'll get a good pickup. I'll tape it down with gaffer tape or electrical uh, tape. It's, it's pointing and directed towards my mouth. It's good. It's very secure. Now we'll give it a little 90 degrees and run it towards the cheek. So there you have it. You see how nice uh, I nicely tucked it in and taped it up. And now, We'll run this uh, right over here on the side, right over here on the side, and then let it come out here and go to the microphone, to, I mean to the camera intake. Also gonna tape this together because I'm not, I'm not taking it out anyway. In this case, I'm gonna use electrical tape because this is gonna be exposed outside of the helmet. So it's closer to the camera, to the GoPro. So we want this waterproof. So oh, there you go. Now pretty much all you need to do is uh, what I call cable management to get rid of all this long uh, excess of cable inside the cheek uh, cushion, under the cheek cushion, and then have the uh, excess come out towards the camera. So let's figure that out. They finally got it in. It's a lot of tedious work uh, to get it underneath the cheek cushion. So pretty much I ran it uh, right here from the side, all along the rim. Brought it up to the back, to the back, and then under the cushion. And then there was a lot of leftover cable, long cable, that I bundled up and put underneath the cheek cushion. So now, as you can see, the microphone is gonna go uh, connect to the GoPro right here. And then it runs along the helmet and then goes in to where the microphone is right there. So now we're gonna take it for a ride and compare, see if it's uh, really that good because they really hyped, it's really hyped up. Okay, one last thing is I'm gonna install the, whatever this is called, I forgot what it's called. Uh, some kind of a chin curtain, chin something. I'm gonna put it in just again to, to you know, get less uh, wind and buffeting coming in. And then I'm gonna mount the GoPro and test it out. Got it set up right there. Okay, GoPro is mounted. Now, let's see if we measured it properly. Yep, there it goes in. And it's ready to go. Okay, this wind, uh, this wind muff is in my mouth. It's like, like there's a mouse in my mouth. Okay, we're going 30, 40. I wonder how the sound, uh, the visor is open. Only at highway speeds. That's where I was having the trouble before. Let me close the visor. Okay, visor is closed now. Just me speaking, wonder if I can hear the pipes. Let me rev it up. 4,000 RPM. Hope this works out, this blue panda thing. I really want it to be uh, set and to vlog properly uh, because, you know, the last video was uh, the ride to Sandy Hook. Highway speeds, I couldn't, I couldn't, I was talking the whole time, you know. And explaining and whatever and you couldn't hear me because it was uh, putting in a uh, static from uh, 
I guess from the wind from the from the road we're now uh, 70 no yeah 70 wonder if you can hear the pipes you can hear me talking and there's no static coming in Those were his pipes. Made it through the MetLife Stadium where they have all the big shows. A hundred thousand people can be seated. I won so many years ago. Well, this is going to be a very easy decision and uh, it's, it's working. It's just working. You can hear me talk. You can hear the pipe. You, I'm, la I'm clear. The pipe is uh, is audible, so uh, that solved it. That solved the problem. I'm not going to compare it to other uh, lavalier or lapel mics that are out there. I'm just comparing it to my Sony, which was great up till now, and this is definitely doing its job. So that's it, guys. What are my uh, thoughts about this uh, microphone? So as you seen, I tested it out when we rode down uh, to Secaucus. Sound is really, really good. Sound is great. You can hear me well while I'm uh, speaking in the helmet. You can hear, you can pick up the exhaust. You can pick up uh, cars around. So the quality is really good. Absolutely solved my problem. So definitely a keeper for me. Really, really recommend it. What I don't like about it is the price tag. I mean, this thing is around $39 and it includes a lot in the bag, but a lot of the items I don't really need. Uh, I don't need the Hero 4 adapter. I don't need the uh, extension cord and the extra clip. So for my purposes, there's some extra parts over there that I'm paying for no reason. I would like to see it more uh, broken up into smaller kits where you have a basic kit that would be a little bit cheaper. And then if you want to have some add-ons, throw that in. But at $39, uh, this is definitely a great, great, great microphone. I do recommend. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoy this uh, review, this uh, install. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Uh, until the next video, peace out, guys.